Mina, aside from having to do press where you answer the same questions over and over and over again, good day for you so far? Uh, it's, it's, it's been an intense first half of the day. It's just 1130 where I am. And, uh, I, I think I've been off the phone for about 10 minutes, but you know, it is, it's, I, I, I took a walk with the dog and the kids this morning. So it was a good start. Are you in the podcast studio right now? Or do you have the Mina AF everywhere? Uh, no, well, this, and, and I don't actually have really a podcast studio anymore. I had had a nice little room set up in our headquarters, um, but we moved out of my headquarters and this is just like the second floor uh, or the third floor of my house. So I'm sitting on the couch and that is where I record and the bedroom is, um, is our office space. So kind of, I guess it's kind of the podcast studio now, but no, I don't have that everywhere. <laughs> I was wondering if you had like 15 Mina AF signs everywhere or if there was just one. Well, so it was kind of like when I, Two Chicks and a Hammer started, I was like, I need a name. We need a name so I yeah. can like get merch and like order business checks. And so when Mina AF was a thing, I bought <laughs> myself a neon sign because I was like, okay, now we feel legit. I've got a neon sign that says it. Got it. Well, cool, before I ask about Good Bones coming back from another season, you know, congratulations on that. When I Google you, the first thing that comes up is TV personality. When uh -huh. did you start to notice that you weren't thought of as a real estate expert, a an actual renovator? A designer, a, a contractor, any of those things. Honestly, my husband probably Googles me more than I do. Every once in a while, he'll do like the search and I'll be like, did you know XYZ or ABC? And I'm like, no, I didn't, because um, I just kind of have my head in the sand most of the time. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's, it's, I feel like eight seasons in, it's something, a comma, and maybe TV personality. But I don't, yeah, you don't really get the first few things. You just get the TV personality. Yeah, but which is a compliment. I mean, that shows, hey, hundreds of thousands to millions of people, depending on the episode, yeah. care about you and know who you are, which is a compliment. But when you're doing your first TV appearance, there's always nerves. And now at this point that you've done hundreds of them, when did you start to realize, hey, this is going to be the rest of my life as opposed to a one-off you had to be nervous about? Yeah. Well, it's so interesting because I think this speaks to maybe why we make good TV because we're not normal humans, slightly <laughs> dysfunctional. Um, sorry, my dog's flopping around. The Before we even filmed the show, when yeah. High Noon sent the film crew out, they were filming us walking around this, this festival that's right in our neighborhood. It's a big graffiti festival. And they were just following us and recording us. And mom and I were like, what are, we, what are we doing? What does this have to do with anything? And at the end of the day, they're like, you know, we just do this to help people get acclimated to the cameras. Um, and it, it was never weird for us, which I think makes us very weird humans. Um, it was just like another face in the room. Um, yeah. But I think just because my, my family is so big and crazy, it's it was just a couple more people. <laughs> that makes sense. So Indiana, where you were associated with, which I've had the pleasure of going to, we have family in oh, Indiana. No. Nowadays, everything's happening in Indiana. Uh, when I was a kid, you know, those many, many, many years ago, everything happened in New York, LA, yeah. Chicago, Miami, and you had to get out of there if you want to have yeah. a career related to television. When did you start to notice, hey, we can be in Indiana and work in entertainment? Yeah, I mean, entertainment obviously wasn't our goal. Um, we, you know, we kind of stumbled into it and it's been, it's been so cool, but learning so much more about the industry because I'm in it now, um, and the different trades and we're actually getting to retain so many talented people in the Midwest now, particularly post COVID when everyone realized like we can do our job from anywhere. Why not live in the Midwest, which is super cool, has a really, really great cost of living. Um, but I think specifically where I live, like this downtown Indy, everyone used to, just, we got corn and cows. That's what we have. But our downtown really, really started flourishing it was probably right around 2009, 2010 when um, I moved to Fountain Square and we were really doing a lot of work here. The city was putting money back into like our walking biking trails and that kind of really catapulted this growth. And Indy's so unique, downtown Indy, in the fact that you can walk on foot to football, basketball, baseball, our art museum, 
um, music venue, like I think three music venues. Mm -hmm. And there's, I can't think like Cincinnati's close, but I can't think of another city that has all that stuff in such close proximity. And then my husband and I live a mile from the center of the city. So from our home, we can walk any of those places. Or if you take an Uber and get dropped in the middle, you can go to all of them. And it's so cool. And Good Bones has done a really, really cool job of showcasing how cool indie really is. is. So is the Indiana hierarchy officially Jim Ursay one, Letterman two, Starsiak Hawk three? Uh, I don't know. I, I would like to say I'm in the top 10, but there's a lot of pretty talent. Who's the, the, the like, uh, maybe poet or whoever said it, but like anywhere I go, there's always someone from Indiana doing something cool. Yeah. I should know who the quote is by, but I think he's probably in that top five as well. I'm gonna Not have to John Mellencamp. It, no, it is. Is it John Mellencamp? Oh, oh it is. No, it's I don't John know. Mel I just guessed. <laughs> uh, I, th I think you might be right. But John Mellencamp, is, he's up there too. So um, I would be lucky to be in the top 10 with some of those people. Are you in the Indiana State Hall of Fame yet? Or is that still, we have to petition for that? Is that a thing? I mean, or New just... Jersey has it. Um, a lot of states and cities have their Hall of Fames. If Indiana doesn't, then why are you not building the building? And then you're in the Hall yeah, of Fame. Yeah, starting the Hall of Fame. I mean, I, unfortunately, probably more infamous than, than famous in Indiana. But um, it's a good goal to have. Sure. So Good Bones, a new season coming back August 15th. Are you already thinking about the next season or is it just one season at a time for you? Well, it, it's it, we're in a, such a unique space where we actually have a break right now. And so many of our seasons just kind of rolled one into the other. So we've got a little breathing room, um, are figuring out what's next. My husband and I just bought a lake house. And, you know, I think that might be part of what we start filming. Um, just a lot of cool different things that that are happening. Like my mom's in North Carolina with her house. Um, we're all just it's been almost 10 years that we've been doing it. So we've got this nice like reset where we're all figuring out what the new next exciting thing is. And I'm sure whatever that is, it's going to be on camera. Plus we never know if we're going to see you on rock the block or other HGTV programming. Is there any hints that you can give as to where we'll see you next otherwise, or is it all good bones forever and ever? Well, I, I mean, I actually was talking to my manager yesterday um, and he brought up rock the block and, I was like, do they know where they're doing it yet? Like, I would definitely judge. I still have some PTSD from that first season because a first season of anything is so challenging. Right. But I think enough time has passed that I've forgotten how <laughs> painful it was. And I would I would do Rock the Block again. I would always judge Rock the Block. Um, but that's it's such a super fun show. I love doing Battle on the Beach. Would definitely do that again. Um, they might be doing some fun House Hunter stuff. I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to say about that, but House Hunters has always been, um, I mean, that's that's OG HGTV. OG HGTV. If you don't own that domain, get it today. Get it. OG HGTV, yeah. Well, three quick questions and then I'll let you go. And the, the first one is obviously you have a lot of television and design and business related projects and you're a family person, but where does the time go when you're not busy with all of that? It does not exist. It does not um, exist. No, I was trying to think through. So like I got to go on a walk with the kids and the dog this morning because my work, I usually try to work out. I get in the sauna, I shower, I start work and I forgot to start the sauna. So it wasn't hot. So I'm like, all right, we got 15 minutes. Let's go on a walk while the sauna heats up because then I got to get into the shower and then I got to get to work. Um, and I think, so I'm turning, I think I'm turning 39. Yes. I, I was for the record, I did not ask your age. You never <laughs> ask a woman her age. That I'm was turning 39 this November. And I feel like, you know, as you get older, obviously priorities change. My kids are both starting school this year. So I'm trying to be very purposeful about creating a better work-life balance. And I think the lake house in my head is like part of that. Of course, I didn't buy a lake house that doesn't need work because <laughs> that would just not be on brand. Couldn't be that easy. But the idea is it's a place that like, you know, this... Thanksgiving, this Christmas, next summer, it hopefully will be a good balance between us living like smack dab in the middle of downtown and hearing sirens and helicopters to be able to kind of escape, put all the devices away for a weekend um, and have some some nice relaxing time. That's the goal, at least. 
Makes sense. Uh, question number two of three, which I'm hoping is a softball and easy, is besides all the great HGTV television programming that you're featured on, what's a TV show that you could recommend at the moment? Oh, gosh. I This is not going to like speak highly of me, but I think when I watch TV, it's two things. It's either like Dateline or murder shows, something on ID Network, Hmm. or it's like zone out. Their lives are crazier than mine. So I feel good about mine. Keeping up with the Kardashians or Vanderpump rules. It's kind of reality is your thing on and off camera. Yes, exactly. My husband really thinks he's like, are you trying to murder me? Cause he'll get sick. And I'm like, do you want some Gatorade, babe? We watch way too much ID network. And I was like, if I was trying to murder you, you'd be dead by now. I promise I'm not. We can keep watching the shows. Well, if you need an investigator in the future, talk to this guy. But the last question, (laughs) Uh, you mentioned before, you're close to three music venues in town. What's the last concert that you went to for fun? I actually, so my kids were gone last weekend and Steve and I went up to Connor Prairie, which is in the the suburbs on the north side. It's this beautiful hill outdoor venue. And Mm -hmm. in the summer, they do a concert series where it's all cover bands. So it was Billy Joel and Elton John cover. And you sit on the hill, you bring your own snacks. Like we made mocktails and sandwiches um and it was awesome that's a pretty darn good concert and i'm surprised that that would be appealing to indiana being a long islander you think that billy joel's only popular on long island but then you yeah, speak to no. people everywhere it's pretty universal he, he, he's intergenerational it doesn't matter the location and these guys they were brothers and so one was billy joel and one was elton john and billy he was just spot on it's so impressive some of these guys so it was a, it was a fun show Well, bottom line, pleasure to speak with you. Congrats on the new season. Looking forward to everything that's coming next and just keep up all the greatness. It's it's great to see real people doing things on a big level like yourselves. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you.